Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Hey, okay. yeah, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Easy. You done? Come on. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Morning. You're okay, you're okay. There, there, easy. It's all right. There, there. Okay, okay. We're fine, ain't we?
okay? You're okay. Calm yourself. There, there. Easy. Okay, boy. Easy now. Calm down, boy. <laughs> We're fine, ain't we? That's right, boy. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay. <laughs> Relax. It's all right. Hello, mister. Easy, boy. Easy. Easy there. We're okay. There's a boy. It's all right, ain't it? Good horse. Who's a good boy? Good boy. Good lad. Hey, boy. Hey, fella. How are you? We're okay. 
You okay? Everything you got, come on! Come on! Let it all out of you! You got some energy? Show me then! That was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. 
Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. Here we go. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. Oh, I slipped. You'll know them when you got them. <laughs> Grip them. Come on. <laughs> okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but... I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We... we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm... I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Around to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But... Maybe that stream? Good idea. Now, you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act 
confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Speed up a mic. Okay. Whoa. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. Whoa. so bad sir good amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do why don't we speed it up again okay come on yeah Across to the stream. Yes, sir. Yep. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! Hey, come back here. You'll have to catch me. I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. Does he like dead bodies on his property? 
it. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him, oh, get him. Oh, get him. Oh, kick his head in, boss. Get your milk. Oh, boy. You couldn't clean my boots. It's like that, huh? Oh, he's licking you, boss. <laughs> Boss, you need help? Yeah. Uh, that boy can punch. Uh, 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 get him! Get, get, get off that man! Get off him! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh, Jim, you gotta do something. Two of them by the stall. Oh, it's over. Three. 
rich man's body. You boys are over. Who's this? A new hand? Yo, Hicks, brought this on yourself. I lost my wind. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We I What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay.
Melton, you son of a bitch. I see you, Milton. You're gonna be sorry for what you done. You're gonna pay, all right. You and your wife. That's the fellow who shot my feet up. I got this. You boys take care. Where are you, big fella? Backwoods, Saka, no good, trash. You had to. That woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's gotta make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. As long as she be <laughs> Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? <sighs> Look, just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Getting on. 
surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. The only thing I know how to do is... Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was for pride or something. And Ma was wrong about that. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Just give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Enough for now. That kid's strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Son, sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. 
I'm here to... Name? My name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston... Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But, I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus, mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pee off! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. It'll be all right. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. Don't look around. Oh, Pa, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, 
Come on. Quick. Now. Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> It's close. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh, dear. Those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Now, compose yourself. You killed them, Paul. Son, I need you to hold it. You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Say hi to your mother. How was the... What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. 
There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it.
That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Could I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! <laughs> <laughs>